Hey Pisces, type in your four ones, the opening of the spirit realm, and take a beautiful deep breath in. Connecting with your higher self, connecting with the divine, and exhale. I hear you are the cream of the crop. You are the creme de la creme. They should be happy to have me in their life. And stop right there. Don't step out of your humility. Stay humbled. You're right. You're right. Uh, some of the people in your life don't deserve you. They should be blessed. They should feel blessed because they are blessed to have you. However, be careful that your human is still in check. Don't lose sight of your goal. I feel like some of you are just hanging in there. You want to give up. Don't give up yet. Spiritual superstars, don't give up yet. Okay, I feel like um, I feel like November really showed you some things in your home. I, so, I feel like some of you were really not happy in your personal space because you didn't have someone to rely on. The people that you thought, the person you thought in particular in your love life really wasn't in your corner as much as you thought. And they're really more focused on them. But I feel like in December, honey, true love is knocking at your doorstep. So yes, I do think you have options. Yes, this is a huge new beginning. I mean, to June of next year in status so if you want that ring if you want that commitment if you want that relationship status on social media honey you have the energy there to make it happen oh okay but stay in your humility don't get arrogant don't get cocky and watch your tongue i feel like that tongue is turning people off. It's the complaining. It's the whining. Goodness gracious. And I'm, you know, I know I'm stepping on some toes. I know that everyone doesn't want to hear that. But that's what's keeping you, that's what's keeping the other person not wanting to hear from you. So they're dipping and dodging. And I feel like we should just go on through because I've, I'm receiving so many messages. And then we'll go ahead and turn them over. Um, but I feel like this is a time that they they love you. They really do care about you. It's like some of you are, but you're turning some people off. And this is also at the job. Um, it's not like they don't like you. They really do want the best for you. But I feel like they're seeing the repeat. And you know it already. You know, that's what they're doing. They're just like, oh, get out of here. It's a repeat of, of the complaining energy. And it's not, you're not flat out, I can't stand them, or I, why is it always me and woe is me? It's the behavior and it's the apathy that's, that you're feeling in some ways. I feel like you do really, really good in taking care of yourself. And then all of a sudden, boom, it's like that wave of depression hits. And you just squirrel away and no one sees you. And I just feel like you have a lot of moments of tears and just sadness. And you're just heavy on yourself. Yep, those two definitely. And I feel like you stay in that sad energy way too long. And you're tuning in to so much. It's not all your energy. So I really want you to be careful about that this month. That you're, and you're also, you know you're in tune ooh, with that person, that one in particular. But I feel like you need to really watch yourself from tuning into their energy so much. Because I feel like it's, it's not healthy for you. So when you find yourself doing that, there's a number of different ways that you can um, stop yourself from tuning into other people's energy, especially when it's not healthy. But the first thing you want to do is just be aware of it. Is this my energy? Is this really me? 
And if it's not, then that's when you know that you have to block that energy. Wow, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So the new solar eclipse moon, this new blessing is really blessing you in a new job, a new career, a new industry, a new way of marketing yourself, a new way of going after that promotion, a new way of going after the commitment that you want in your love life, and a new way of just saying, you know what, I'm brand new. Um, there's a status, there is the hierarchy, there's advancement, and that's where you want to be in your financial life, okay? So the messages are there, the synchronicities, but don't be so obligated, like don't be married to the outcome that you lose sight of your goal. Because I feel like there's dips and there's, there's the changes happening, there's dips and turns that are causing you to just be really feeling weak and not as confident as spirit wants you to be. So stand proud, you know, honor your emotions. But with this, let go of the toxic emotions. This is very much in your um, in your sacral chakra, which is where we house our emotions. How do we feel about our root, which is our family, our foundation? How do we feel about you know, those behind closed doors moments and the relationships that mean so much to us. How do we feel about it? So I really do believe that Spirit is just telling you you're stronger than those weaker moments. And uh, let Spirit replenish your soul. Because I feel like when you go into hiding and you escape, those aren't healthy ways. Watch out for the messages that are coming to you. Your spiritual guidance is loud and clear. And you know how psychic you are. You're certainly a spiritual medium. But when you're receiving those messages, remember they're not all yours. But they are guiding you in a way to understand what the other person is going through. Remember, you got confidence here. So use it for anybody that's feeling less strong. Okay, confidence is right there. Right there this month. Especially in where this, the new moon around the 14th. Excellent, excellent. And then true love is right there at the end of the month. This is a way to cut off unhealthy connections and to really look out for you going into 2021. That's the end of that tough cycle. You don't have to worry about it. You just have to take that leap of faith and you have to expect it. Because this is a huge new solar eclipse on the 14th. And I'm telling you, Pisces, you are definitely in line to be blessed, okay? Reconsider your options. You've got many, okay? Let me show you that here. All right, you've got, you've got, to, you've got, to, you've got to definitely check out, okay? You've got your backpack on. You're either going inside your room, in your house, not answering calls, just kind of incognito. And uh, some decisions that you want to make, wait, 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 okay? Some of you have already broken it off. Some of you are getting ready to, but some of you have been rejected. So just remember, bring it to God. All right, bring it to the Most High. And it is a major decision that you've got to make. It's, you know huge and it keeps you up at night but you got this and even though it feels like you might not be in total control you are in control of the decisions and choices you decide to make never have to sacrifice your values for anybody else know what your standards your requirements your boundaries are in relationship and not just an in intimate but certainly in your financial boundaries, healthy boundaries, your financial relationships with coworkers, with the manager, don't let them take advantage of you, with the boss, business partners, clients, customers, don't let them have, you know, $500 worth of your products when they only pay for one. It, it you know, you just don't have to do that. And uh, not everyone is for you. 
So yeah, you know, that one that you needed to divorce, you needed to break up things with, and you know, spirit closed some doors for you without your permission because you weren't able to do it on your own. So severing those ties was the best thing. You already saw the synchronistic messages that uh, spirit was sending you. It was a very powerful change, expect it. But you know what? Needed to happen so that you could be out of the settled mindset, that energy that is beneath you, certainly is beneath your standards and um, doesn't mean that it doesn't hurt. But just remember that you are stronger than your weakest moment. And even when you don't feel like that courageous lion, you look in the mirror and you feel like a kitten, you know, stray cat. Feel yourself to be that well-kept king or queen of the jungle. Thank you so much. It does take practice. You know, I will never lie to you, Pisces, but honey, when I tell you your 2021 does not have to be filled with pain, it's going to take some, you know, practice. It's going to take you working on it. When you do, when you do shut the door and when you do... Um, just kind of stay inside and you're in your room and you're not talking to anybody and just kind of in your mind and in your soul and you're just focusing on your spiritual guidance and you're receiving so many downloads, so many spiritually guided messages. Just remember, not all of that energy belongs to you and you don't have to own it as it is because that energy gets really heavy for you. So you have to be able to say, no, I block it, block it, block it from you. Are your actions supporting your, your words? Are, what is it that you desire? What is it that you want, right? What is that? What does that look like? Oh, honey, because honey, communicate that. You've got it. I mean, it's definitely here. You've got an amazing month of just being able to really communicate yourself effectively. And let me show, please, you have it. I mean, in your finances, too, you own it, honey. Seven of Pentacles, that's wealth, that's abundance, that's harvest, that's fruitful. And then you own it. Good job. Excellent for things to be coming together. But it's not just in your speech. You illuminate the world, okay? Let me tell you, it's in your behavior, it's in your body language, it's in the way you dress, it's the way you do your hair, it's in the way that you do your makeup, your grooming, everything, okay? The compassion, the empathy that you show people, the pure heart love that you just extend, you pour into so many people, oh my gosh. So now Spirit is saying, your wish is your command. You own certain gifts that you can used to manifest and certainly that means that spirit is saying your wish is my command because you've already been given those spiritual gifts and so as you use your power honey you're manifesting so much wow and all you have to do is just keep it going be consistent but boy oh boy when i tell you that this is a beautiful transit of six months of wealth and abundance it so, so is. So, yes, go back and think about where you are coming from so that you can see the patterns, the choices, the decisions, and make those changes. Look at, be nostalgic for a little while so you can go back and look at the signs in your love life and certainly in your money. However, don't stay there. Don't stay there. I feel like you're already there when you're looking at this. I feel like you've been... Back down memory lane a lot. And so Spirit's just saying, um, I, I'm, I'm going to need you to open yourself up to me and let go of where you keep trying to go back to because I'm trying to hand you absolutely everything. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. When I tell you true love is all up in your face at the end of the month, and I don't think it's just at the end of the month. I think that they're showing you throughout the month who they are. And 
I feel like you're moving past the crossroads for sure. You're not trying to fuzz. You're not trying to be all in battle mode. And you're not trying to be uh, naive or gullible. You definitely have removed your own. Look at this. How did you? Because the fear, this is the fear covering why um, you ultimately end up releasing the turmoil, the inner turmoil, and moving past the tears and the frustration and the financial loss and all and the restriction of not being able to communicate effectively your truth and being more passive aggressive okay and so you're moving past that by what knowing that you own it yes you do Pisces awesome with this king of wands and this can definitely be someone else that comes in and says you know what come here and definitely just is the one that you've been waiting for. Whether you're Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine, this energy says, mm, I stake my claim. That's awesome. So you don't have to worry about that. This one. And you do not have to worry about the rejection. Because somebody sees Okay, and it's going to. Okay, because you do, because you value yourself. So someone's going to see that. Thank you so much. And so just remember the end of that tough cycle. It's done. And, you know, you can expect that powerful change because it's coming. And so just be confident in that. Remember, it takes practice. Thank you so much. But the environment that you're in, the energy that's around you, the frequency, that you are in, ooh, it's stability, it's traditional, it's consistent, it's awesome. It's what you were praying for. It's awesome. And I feel like with these two, with you hoping secretly for that stability and with that, that, um, security and the, the 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 longevity i feel like it's there but please remember what spirit said in the beginning be humbled cuz i feel like this is your energy mostly and this is arrogant this is close fist this is closed minded okay this is just like egotistical someone that's more focused over money all of that they're not this is who you you i think you're fearing true love because that's where your energy is at the end of the month so don't fear true love oh my gosh girl or guy don't fear it don't accept this that's settling this is the one that's not for you okay this is the ego driven cares about the money um this just it, it washes away the stability that you want. This isn't somebody that's going to stay. He just, this is an, ex, an excessive spender, really wants your money. More proud of the bank account than um, he really is. And being hands-on, a uh, man's man or a woman's woman who really is going to take care of the house, who really isn't going to work too, cares about the family. Um, this is somebody that, a uh, gold digger. So you don't want that. You Your environment says there's somebody here that's going to help you build in business and in love. And so let me tell you something, Pisces. Have the conversation. Don't let your fear stop you from speaking your truth. I feel like this is confusion. 
So pray it out. Meditate. Remember confidence. Practice. How are you feeling? Remember what are your what are your healthy boundaries? Remember, Spirit already told you how you're gonna get stronger, how you're gonna beat this confusion. Clarity. Talk to trusted friends, allies, let them offer their opinion. Um, accountability partner, get on over to Spiritual Guidance Academy. Uh, in our closed group on Facebook, get over to spiritualguidanceacademy.com. Come back over, look at our videos, receive some inspiration. Self-development, download an audio book, get around some folks. If you can't be around anybody during Thanksgiving, we understand that. But definitely don't close the door off to people. Get out of your mind, get outside in nature. Because it will taint your sense of what is really going on and what is not. And we do not want you making the wrong choice here. Because you got, this is like this. It's good, it's not. And so you want to make sure you know the reason this one is not for you is because they don't value you. And you need to break it off, okay? And the reason why you that's you got to let that go. And you already seen the changes, okay? So the same thing with business. If you keep trying to do the same type of work, you're not getting fruitful. Abundance from it. Go with what is, is helping you have a harvest. But open yourself up to what else is out there. Because, honey, you, you're making your dreams come true. So expand. Focus on what's outside of you how can you help people outside of you it's a dream that's bigger than you that's what you want to go into pisces i have been blessed in every single area of my life i'm helping others create generational wealth improved health and i would love to chat with you and share with you what is helping my family make our dreams come true it is absolutely amazing if i can if you are ready to have a one-on-one -on -one chat with me Definitely hit the, the links down below, and I really can't emphasize this enough. Don't go for this one. Whether you're a man or a woman, don't go for this one, all right? Please don't. All right, if there's anything else I can do for you, Pisces.